In this video, we are going to discuss about the STP configuration and which topology we have selected for this STP configuration and what are the characteristics while using this configuring this STP configuration. We will be looking into it practically in the packet tracer. Spanning tree protocol. So here uh, we know that in switching loop is an unwanted problem in a network. Then what is switching loop? Switching loop is a situation in which there are two layer two pattern that means layer two two endpoint switch and bridge switches create broadcast toms. So here the switches create broadcast toms from every port and switch rebroadcast again and again because of the fact that there is no TTL that means time to live mechanism on layer 2. This continues forever so that you see clearly that to avoid this unwanted switching loops there are some mechanisms. One of the most common name for this mechanism is STP spanning tree protocol. According to this protocol in the switching topology a root bridge is selected and then the connected port of switches are classified. The port classification and their meaning are like below. You see that uh, the root port, the root port is a port of the root bridge. So as you know root port is the port of the root bridge the same way designated port the other port that is not root port is called as designated port. So coming to the non designated port which is called blocked port. In a segment other port than the designated port is called as non designated port. So the selection process is done orderly wise and also first root bridge is selected secondly root ports on all the switches are selected then the designated ports are selected and lastly the remaining ports becomes non designated meaning blocking ports. Let's see an example of STP on this packet tracer. For STP example uh, on this packet tracer we will use the below switch topology you see the switches switch 0 switch 1 switch 2 and switch 3 here so that whenever you try to configure on switch 0 the spanning tree first you have to log into one switch that is switch 0 so this is switch 0 and when you go to the CLI under the switch 0 you have to type show spanning tree so it's spanning tree this is shows the spanning tree that means VLAN 0001 which is the default VLAN and you can see clearly about the spanning tree enabled protocol IEEE root ID you can see the priority address so this bridge is the root you can see this bridge is the root that means here so hello time is 2 seconds maximum age is 20 seconds and forward delay is 15 seconds in the same way you can see the bridge ID also so this is about the show spanning tree on switch 0. So again on switch 0 you can see about the spanning tree active status and not. So you see show spanning tree active. It's clear that from this you can clearly see that the above addresses are for the root and the bridge part. So switch 0 is selected as a root bridge. The root bridge is selected according to the bridge ID and the bridge ID is the MAC address of the switch. So the lower one is selected as a root bridge here. So this is switch 0 which is having a lower MAC ad bridge ID that is a MAC address. So the two port of switch 0 are normally the designated port because all the ports on the root bridge is always chosen as designated port. So both of these ports are in forwarding state. This means that they are ready to send the traffic so that as a recall you can know about the states. So I will be telling you about the states here. Uh, the four states of STP port. There are the blocking port which is 20 seconds of time it will take. 
listening port 15 seconds of time it will take and learning port which is 15 seconds and forwarding so you can also use some commands to check the spanning tree information so I will show you that also on switch 0 you see you type show spanning tree interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 0 slash 1 so you can see the status of the interface of the spanning tree you can see clearly the designated port role the VLAN and forwarding state cost priority number and type clearly it is given here in the same way if you want to check for the other interface you can see it's very clear now how to configure the spanning tree so that the switching loop is not occurred here.